Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to Space Engineers Solo Survive with me, a relaxed gamer. So last episode, we found the ship, among other ships, actually, and there is a small grid somewhere around here. So I got my radar set up to see if I can find this tiny ship. Um, I don't know if those are helpful. But let's let's do these tiny unknowns. Tiny unknown five three seven three. I think that was a. It, it's quite possible that I broke it when I autopiloted over here. So one of the things I'm thinking of setting up is uh, another GPS, probably something like, um, maybe here. So we will do new from current position. Um, This one, right? Yeah, current position. Um, send to home base. So we we'll just set up that that GPS. Send to home base. And any ships we find, we can apply to that. Now, this seems to be floating away. Yep, it's definitely floating away. So let's go into this ship. How the heck do I, oh, it's at the side here, right there. And let's see if we can hook onto it in some way or form. Does this have a landing gear on it? I bet it doesn't. No, it's got a connector. I need a landing gear. Okay. Gear five. Do I have the parts? I do have the parts, I think. Okay. Now that we have a landing gear on it, let's go grab the ship that's floating away. I'm pretty sure it's floating away. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's one of the first things I'm going to have to do to this ship. Let's put on the upgradable thrusters. Okay, it's fighting me. Sorry. Precision time. Oh, wrong way. I just got to get it in range and not wreck my stuff. Wow. I think I need more gyros on this. Wow. 
Or I might just have to get rid of those rotor thrusters. Which is quite likely. Because although they are unpowered, they're still exerting a force. could upgrade to a new reactor, but I think I want to dig it underneath the base. Perhaps I can put a, a hangar somewhere bound, what's this, around here, maybe? It's possible. It's a lot of stone to get rid of, though. Okay, I have to uh, get bottles going. Um, bum 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 bum. I only have two bottles. Interesting. I should remedy that. Oh, I think it's already remedying it. No, it's disassembling it. Oxygen bottle four. I don't know why those are set to zero. I probably set them to zero and I didn't even think about it. Oh well. Um, grab a couple of those, a couple of those. And a bunch of steel plates. Because we're gonna build an entrance or something. I'm thinking over here. Go parallel with this. Local grid align. Kinda are on the dark side of the base. Kinda. Though I think that sun is constantly rotating around here because my solar panels seem to always be tracking it. Well, of course they're tracking it because I have a tracking script on, but that's not the point. So this brings to mind that I'm going to have to build some sort of big drilling ship. Or a small drilling ship with lots of drills.
kind of curious. Um, hanger? No. Hang? Airtight hanger door. Do I have the mod for that? No, I don't. Huh, okay. Because... These hangar doors are just too small. I guess they're not too small if you're only putting in small ships, so I'll go with that. Hangar, hangar, hangar. But if you go with big ships, they are too small. That's good. So that's my hangar door entrance area. And I think I'll extend this out a few more blocks as well. Prepared to deal with that. So this will be my hangar entrance. It should be deep enough.
Okay, let's move this into position. Use our uh oh losing it. Nope. Uh oh. For serious? <laughs> Boombo for exploration. Okay. I know I can use control Z to do stuff, but sometimes it's hard when you're trying to do that on a fast moving item. Can't just manhandle and force it. I've got over 2,500 hours in this, so I know the control Z thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that's a lot of freaking hours. But I enjoy the game. That's all that matters. Okay, that's being torn apart, and that should be the last of that ship. Control Z, Control Z. I'm Canadian, so I can go either way. But the proper way is Control Z. <laughs> Z, not Z, Z. Okay, so I guess I need to make a drilling ship. Something that can cut into there. I could probably make a little a little blueprint to get the right depth and put a hologram in place. Now uh, what do we got? Five, five, and one. 
So 11, that's good. So how do I do that without my building repair system deciding, hey, I want to go build this. Because we have 11 in the center plus 4 on each side. So 11 plus 4 each side, that's 19. 19 wide. Six, seven, eight. Right. Eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for nineteen. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Seven tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. Then we want to. go across here. Was that seven to the outside or seven to the inside? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight. And I have build new turned off on my build and repair system, so. But that didn't really stop it from doing this. So that wasn't considered new. It's possible. Um, so how do I want to lay this out? Twenty. We can go twenty, and then see how it goes from there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So as for design, maybe I'll go like this. Then flip the same thing here. Space it.
something like that. Because as soon as I project it into place, it's going to do what it does. Even though I have build new off, uh, it might just project it into place. So we get prepared for that. So this has to be simple. Do that. Frame it in. And give me a moment while I mirror on the other side and I'll bring you back. See you in a couple. Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to Space Engineer Solo Survival with me, Relaxed Gamer. So, I got this projection set up over here. I went a little too short on the sides, but that's not a huge deal. I'll probably get rid of these anyway. Um, I hooked this up to power temporarily. Uh, all the way in here. And I got build and repair starting up and working. Uh, once this power, uh, once I get it connected over there, I'll disconnect this power because I do have a battery set up over here, but it doesn't have a lot of charge in it. So I'm hoping this will get connected soonish and then I can get a charge on that battery. Because only this part is connected right now, and it's going through the uh, the asteroid here. And my build and repairs are set to build new as well, so that it will actually build up these. And then once it gets to, well, once it connects to power, that would be great. But I took my little my little ship here and drilled in here, drilled up there, tried not to break the ceiling, which I didn't, luckily. I got to a point and I was like, okay, let's go out, let's take a look at where we are, redirect, go this way, then go up there. So now we're connected to the base and I'll figure something out with that. Um, what else? It's pretty much just building now. So while it's doing its building, let's see if we can find something of interest. So we have all these signals around. We got send to home base, which isn't really a signal. Uh, 13.5, tiny unknown 8.4. Eight 
Tiny station, that's military escort, which... Let's go after that. Oh, wait, it's named. Never mind then. There's a medium unknown over there, and it is moving slowly, maybe? Oh, hold on one second. 